بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى عليه وصحبه وسلم ما بعد حبت في الله leave off the shubhat leave off leave off the shubhat and adhere to the muhkamat Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in surah Ali Imran أما الذين في قلوبهم زيغ فيتبعون ما فيتبعون ما تشابه من ابتغاء الفتنة وابتغاء تأويله ولا يعلم تأويله إلا الله. الله سبحانه وتعالى says في كتابه الكريم. As for those أما الذين في قلوبهم زيغ as for those whose heart contains زيغ As for those people whose hearts are deviated, they Emmanadina fi kulubim zain yet to be unamatishaha min minhu ibtiga fitna ibtiga ta'wili. They follow those ambiguous verses in order to explain away and befit their own desires, in essence. And if we look at the tafsir, and we look at what the Prophet ﷺ said to Aisha anha, when he mentioned about the people of Zayn, they leave the muhkamat, they leave those ayats and verses are clear. Islam clearly forbids shirk. Islam distinguishes itself, this is why I embraced Islam, it distinguishes itself from Christianity, Judaism, Catholicism, and other ways of life because although that they say those are monotheistic uh, faiths, Islam is pure monotheism. Islam does not require us to supplicate to the Prophet Muhammad Islam does not require for us to supplicate to anyone other than the Rabbil Alameen. And this is why we left Kufr to come to Islam. Unfortunately, there are those who leave Kufr to come to Kufr, meaning they leave being Christian, leave being a Jew, leave being a Hindu, and they say la ilaha illallah, but they come in to a way, a madhab, a way of blind following, following the mutashabihat, following those ambiguous verses and those ambiguous evidences in order to substantiate their creed. The verses are so clear, the ahadith are so clear. The Prophet وسلم, said what? A dua huwa ibadah. That that supplication is worship. So how then, therefore, when we know that any any act of worship done to other than Allah subhanahu wa taala is shirk? This is our understanding of shirk. This is where we differ with those uh, with the extreme Sufis, because we understand that, like the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, a dua huwa ibadah. That dua supplication is worship. So therefore, how is it that we can supplicate to the Prophet ﷺ in Al-Barzakh because we believe he, is, he has the life in Al-Barzakh, but we don't know the kafi of that life. We don't know how that life is. We believe the Anbiya are there. The Prophet ﷺ visited them in, uh, in Mi'raj, Al-Isru al Mi'raj. We believe in this, but we don't know the kafi of that life. We have no authority to worship to try to legislate a new type of worship because the Prophet ﷺ didn't supplicate to anyone except Allah. The Sahaba didn't supplicate to anyone except Allah. The Tabi'een did not supplicate to anyone except Allah. The Itba'a Tabi'een did not supplicate to anyone except Allah. The Prophet said, "I can be sunnah to sunnah to Khulafa Rashidin al Mahdin. It's upon you my sunnah and the sunnah of the rightly guided Khulafa Rashidin, Abu Bakr, Umar, Uthman, wa Ali, radiyallahu taala anhum ajma'in." The Prophet said, "If tarakat al Yahud la itu wa sabiin firqa, wa if tarakat al Nasara la itu natin wa sabiin firqa, wa sabt if tarakat al Hadi umma la talata wa sabiin firqa, kullaha fi nahr." In the wahda, kulla man hiya ya Rasulullah, kala man kana ala mithli, wa ma kana ala hi wa ashabi. The Prophet ﷺ said the Jews break into 71 sects, Christians 72 sects, my ummah is 73 sects, all of them in the fire except one. 
Then the companion said, Who are they, Ya Rasulullah? He said, Those who are upon what I'm upon and what my companions are upon. So we should be firm. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, wa Allah, wa Rasul. Follow Allah and follow His Messenger. If Allah didn't legislate that, if the Prophet didn't legislate and say, Supplicate to me in my grave, but rather he said, Send salutations upon the Prophet. Send salutations upon me. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, O oh, you who believe, make sallu alayhi wa sallu to give salams to the Prophet kathir. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala le has legislated for us to follow the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has let us know that his sahaba were the best. The best of you is my generation, then those who follow them, then those who follow them. So how is it we follow the Sahaba when we're coming up with a new act of unlegislated ibadah? It's not authenticated by Islam in the Sharia. Because the Prophet didn't do it. The Prophet said, In the hadith of Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha, قال سمعت قال قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه قالت قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم من من أحدث في أمرنا هذا ما ليس منه فورد وفي صحيح مسلم ومن عمل عملا ليس عليه أمرنا فورد whoever does something in this religion of ours will have it rejected and then in صحيح مسلم whoever invents something in this affair of ours will have it rejected these are authentic ahadith the Bukhari Muslim, that when we come up with a new type of ibadah, and I tell you this is new, you're following the shubahat, the mutashabihat, not the muhkamat. You're not following the clear verses of shirk, the clear verses telling us what shirk is. That Allah doesn't accept any worship. In in uh, in Allah la wa that Verily, Allah does not forgive that you worship and associate partners with him, but he forgives other than that for whomsoever he pleases. Allah does not accept any shirk, and we agree to that. And dua and supplication to other than Allah is not accepted, because the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, said a dua wa ibadah. Dua is ibadah in Sahih Tir Tirmidhi. Dua is ibadah. So how is it that we can direct an act of ibadah, dua, supplication, by saying, Ya Rasulullah, please help me. Ya Rasulullah, please sit, take my dua to Allah. Ya Saint Fulan, please help us in our times of struggle. Ya so-and-so, Ya Abdul Qadir Ajilani, please help my wife become pregnant. This is what the ummah has reduced itself to in many places in the ummah. That's why we have to stay away from it the more we go back to the sunnah of the Prophet and stick to those clear principles. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Alif la meem, Nazala alaykum kitab of bil Alif la meem, Nazala alaykum, Nazala alaykum kitab of bil haqi, musaddaqan lima bayna yaday, wa anzala tawrat min wal anjil. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Amma al-ladina, أَمَّا الَّذِينَ فِي قُلُوبِهِمْ زَيْغًا فَيَعْتَبِيُونَ مَا تَشَابَهَا مِنْ So later on in the verse, Allah lets us know that there's the Ummul Kitab, those verses which are clear, the Muhkamat, and then there's the Mutishabihat. So we can't take evidences and then speculate. This is what all the, the worship of those people who go to the graves and those people who supplicate to the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, is based on speculation. It's inference. It's not clear. Because they infer, they say, well, Allah says the shuhada are not deceased. So therefore, I can communicate with them. Therefore, I can have tea with them. Therefore, what's the difference with you supplicating to them and you having a cup of tea with them, although you haven't seen them? Because both of them are built upon inferences and speculation. They're not built on clarity. And it's just like the deviance of those people who say, my wali, my sheikh, is so close to Allah, he no longer has to pray. He no longer has to wash himself. 
He can no, he no longer has to adhere to the Sharia. And this is so true. This is so many people. There are enough people who actually practice. They have went this far astray. Kufr Akbar. They're outside of the police. Not anyone who says they're not, they don't have to follow the Sharia of the law, they're not Muslim. That's not Islam. That's like the black man who says he's from the Ku Klux Klan. Ahmadullah imperative that we come back to Kitab Allah Sunnah al Rasul and adhere to the rope of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we follow that which is clear in Islam, not building our religion upon inferences and speculation which will lead to the hellfire. We've done the haq. Aqama alayka al hujjah So fear Allah, come back to Allah, worship Allah alone. Don't worship the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, no matter how beloved he is to us. No matter the the fact that we say, we give salams in the in the uh, atayat, we give salams to the Prophet, but you're not making, you're not saying, O oh, Nabi, we worship you, please accept our dua, Allah. But you're giving atayat, you're giving salam, salutation, because it's legislated. We have clear evidence for that, and that is not supplicating. That's not saying, O oh, you Nabi, please help my mother become cured. Please guide my father to Islam. Please save us from the hellfire. No, there's no equivalent to that. That is shirk and that is late legislated mashroor ibadah. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil.